I'm a professor, I'm an author, I'm a mom, I'm a by any means necessary artist. So I come up with a concept or a, or a thing that I want to research or learn more about and then I make a body of work based on that. A lot of my stuff has a textile element to it, so like embroidery or crochet, um, or lately I've been using a lot of rope. I love my studio. I don't really want to leave my studio, but I would love to empty it out and put everything that I don't need somewhere else. <laughs> I have obstacles daily when I come in here and what am I going to do next? So figuring out what I want to do next in the studio has been really challenging. Um, coming up with the next project. It's both like really exciting, like wow, I could do anything, and it's also really frustrating, like oh, I could do anything. <laughs> Sometimes you just get that moment of like incredible inspiration, you see something and you're like, oh, I, I need to do that, or, or you think of something and I need to make that happen. And then other times I feel like the motivation comes through the actual work. So I feel like it's just important sometimes to just sit and draw or sit in the studio, even if I'm not actually making anything, just sitting in here, being surrounded by the potential of all the supplies, or a blank piece of paper, or even just looking at something I'd made before and thinking about how I could improve it, do I want to do it again, how would I change it, like all of that is motivational. And oh, I'm getting so tired with this. Regular <laughs> Who knew that an electric eraser would make such a difference? I want my students to r take risks and fail and try things and be open to the idea that it can take a long time to learn a skill and that it's okay not to be great at something and that I think being a creative person is maybe 40% talent and 60% something else. So it's not even how talented you are, it's a lot of other things. It's a, it's a mixture of lots of different things that are important.